So, hi there and welcome to Path Less Trodden. I thought we'd bring you an update today on Rob's barefooting journey. Um, I think the last video we did was about um, four months ago and he was about six months in. So, Rob, um, am I right? You're about ten months into barefooting? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so tell us um, what you've been up to and how it's going for you at the moment. Well, it was going really well uh, up until about six weeks ago. So I was running faster and further than I had before. I felt light and free as I was doing it. I was having a great time. And then on the way back from a run, I just sort of felt something was a bit wrong with my ankle and it just got worse and worse on the way home. And I just, I ended up having to hobble the last 20 minutes or so. And after that, yeah, I just basically, I found it really difficult to walk for about four weeks. It was um, quite scary really. And it culminated, in, you know, the whole time I was thinking, oh, I'm going to be fine, I'm going to be fine, I'll, I'll just understand what's doing, I'll be gentle with it. Um, but yeah, it, something really scary happened at one point. I ran for a train and literally this whole area of my leg here just did a big kind of thing, like it was an elastic band. It was really horrible. And from then on I couldn't walk, I couldn't walk at all and I couldn't, it was about 24 hours that lasted and after that my leg was better than it had been in weeks previously which was kind of strange and now I feel like I can walk around and run around without aggravating that injury which is quite a relief honestly and it must, must have been completely muscle because as I say it healed up within about 24 hours but yeah not being able to walk for an afternoon um, was pretty scary stuff I can tell you. Um, so what are you running around and walking around in at the moment? What shoes? Um, Vivos. Uh, that's what I've got on right now. And yeah, they're good. They're nice. I mean it, it's nice to feel free and actually barefoot and it's also nice to wear Huarches and Vibrams. Um, but if I'm going to go out for a long trip where I'm walking around towns and catching trains and things like that then Vivos great because they just cover your feet up and Okay. Keep feeling safe. So how long were you not running for? Uh, must have been about four or five weeks or something. So I mean I've started again now and I'm still a little bit shaky and I'm definitely a bit out of condition though not as much as I would have thought. Um, okay and what's your plan for sort of the, the next couple of months with the barefooting? Be gentle with it. Be really really gentle with it because I, this barefooting has got to be treated with respect. I mean if you've seen some of my earlier videos I've got like bruises on my toes I, and I've done awful things to all kinds of muscles. I, I have this sort of arrogance that I did yoga teaching and therefore I know how to exercise without injuring myself but I've really pushed that to the limit and if you can do this more gradually, this change, then do it more gradually. That's the only advice I can give you and I think maybe I've learnt my lesson a little bit that just because something feels okay today it might not feel okay tomorrow so you've got to be really careful. But, you know, the, I think the logic and the journey still stands. You feel more connected to the ground, your posture feels lighter and freer, and the running becomes whatever it is naturally for you. So the, there's no going back to um, trainers for you or normal running shoes, despite the fact Got that you me. had a really quite a nasty injury? Um, no going back whatsoever. I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm very lucky. It was only muscles and it healed up very quickly, and now I'm not aggravating it. You know, somebody else... Maybe their knee goes, maybe it's some tendon that's a real problem. But I think if you treat it with respect and you're gentle with it, I, my suspicion is that anybody can slowly tread this path bit by bit. But you, yeah, you do have to take it step by step. Great. Thanks for the update. And uh, just before we say goodbye to you, give us a spin so I can see the back of your T-shirt because I, <laughs> I'm intrigued by that T-shirt. Now, if we can just ignore the microphone that's on him, you'll see my... Um, my wonderful design for Rob's t-shirt, which is uh, advertising why it's so great to eat vegan. Yeah, move that off Rob so we can have a look at it. That's great. It's uh, one of the first outings of this t-shirt this year because it's not been warm enough, but the sun's out here today. And it's really great to see you wearing it. Great. Give us a spin back round, Rob. That's wonderful. Thanks for the update on barefooting. We look forward to hearing how you get on in the future. Thank you.